I was a very ambitious girl who always wanted to sell anything, including crafts from flowers that I found in the street, candies, ice cream, even my own toys. One particular day, I sold one of my dad's books. How would this lead me to become an engineer, you'd say? I think it was a sign from my own ingenuity. The biggest female inspirations in my life are my two grandmas. Actually, I can tell I inherited my American instinct from my parental grandmother. She was a very smart woman with a very sharp business sense. Unfortunately, at some point of the story, my grandpa got a condition that wouldn't allow him to work. So my grandma herself raised the family with nine children. The story is kind of similar with my maternal grandmother. It was a family of 11. My grandmother opened a kindergarten. She was very passionate about it. She loved to teach piano, recitation, and dancing. It is always very empowering for me to remember when I'm in doubt that I carry them in my blood. One of my biggest challenges in my life was going back to my Kung Fu training. I had a terrible injury in my knee and I had to disconnect from this discipline, my passion, for about five years. The day that I decided to go back, my thoughts were, okay, even if I start over, train for about a year and get injured again, it'll still be worth it. Now, it's been about two years and it hasn't been easy. My fears are very real, but I can tell I've done a good progress to face them. My favorite part about working at Wiseline is the freedom. I am this kind of person with huge amounts of energy and Wiseline has this environment that allows my creativity to bloom. As long as I have my priorities in order, which is in the first place my project with my clients, I have the open space to do so many things. I've been mentor in the onboarding program, I've been product owner for an internal initiative, and I've been facilitator for the tech mentoring program. My journey at Wiseline and my journey to become a leader have been one of the best experiences in my life. I believe the hardest part of being a woman in this industry is taking the first step. Everything else is easy in comparison. I feel very grateful for being born in this space and time. It might not be perfect, but also it's not impossible. I broke this glass ceiling a very long time ago. I have a very specific memory. I wanted to do martial arts, but I was afraid that I would be the only woman in the group. Once I decided to break this glass ceiling, my perspective opened. There have been a few times where I'm in a room taking an academy course, and all of a sudden I realize I'm the only woman in the room, and I'm totally fine. Take the first step, that's my advice. 